What? What do you mean the camera's on? Sorry about that. Uh, anyways, let's go on with the video. We have a lot of news this week. We got the Zack Snyder Justice League figures that came out. We got all the Hot Topic restocks, and we got the WonderCon Lowry emails. So please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I really appreciate it. Once I get to 100 subscribers, I'm doing a very special giveaway that I'll give more info about at the end. So anyways, let's get on with the video. This week, we got an out-of-box look at Winnie the Pooh as a bee, which I really like for some reason. He's going to release both in stores and online on April 10th, so tomorrow he'll come out. Walmart has exclusive Disney merch, including a four-pack pin set, a mini backpack, and two coin purses, and the Avengers Victory Swarma Hawkeye, that's a mouthful, wow, is available for pre-order now. So if you want to have him and have the complete set, then go get him now. I'll have both the Walmart exclusives and Hawkeye linked below. WWE Walmart exclusive figures are starting to hit stores, so have fun with that Funko Pop Hunters, cause, you know, with Walmart, you're definitely going to need all the help you can get. <laughs> Fawn Eduardo and Clifford have been shipped out from Hot Topic. And I know this because as I'm recording this video, Eduardo is going to be arriving today, which I will definitely do a review video on. The Fox Clifford is also hitting some stores in person, and he's also restocked online as well. You can now get some Harry Potter and Office pins off of Amazon, and I'll have those pins linked in the description. Thanks to Diz.Pops on Instagram, we got a sneak peek at the Deadpool 30th Anniversary box, which has Dino Pool and Ninja Deadpool figure in it. I mean, is he already like a ninja almost? <laughs> uh, Walmart exclusive Metallic Darkseed, Darkseid, Darkseid, came out for pre-order online, and he went out of stock ridiculously fast. Probably due to the fact that there was actually a glitch where it allowed you to have up to a hundred figures in your cart. I'm not even kidding. He is completely out of stock right now, but should be available again early August. However, he did temporarily restock a couple days after he had already gone out of stock. And so make sure to keep an eye on his page every once in a while to see if it's up again. Also this week, we got art series Bambi which I actually wish was just a regular figure instead of an art series because it looks, it's got a really cool pose that actually would make for a cool figure. He is available for pre-order on Amazon right now. Bambi will be linked in the description. Game of Thrones figures were released this week. A lot of them actually, which are available for pre-order right now. Poppin' Off Toys has them in both bundles and individual figures, as well as the Snack Snyder Justice League figures. Glow Mecha Godzilla came out on the Funko Shop, and I got it. So I'll be doing a review of it that will come out this Sunday. Yep, Sunday. After the amazing Falcon and the Winter Soldier new episode blew us all away, Funko decided to show us their new Sharon Carter figures, which is a huge improvement from the Age of 13 figure from before. She's already available for pre-order right now, so get her while you can. Who knows what happened to this figure after Rich Zembo just buys all her stock. All these figures, besides Mechagodzilla because he sold out pretty fast, will be linked below. If you attend some special games this month, you'll be given a free Eric Davis figure and a rare silver version will also be going to some of the people in the crowd. So, I mean, scalpers, you can just go to the game, you'll get a free figure. The Funko Shop is soon going to have some Black Light, Alice in Wonderland pops, posters, and sodas. Which honestly isn't a bad idea, as you know, the theme actually does fit with Alice in Wonderland and the drugs. Entertainment Earth exclusive Dwight pins are available for pre-order on their website, and I'll have those linked down below. Thanks to Diz.Pops on Instagram, which you really should look at. We got a new Mandalorian pop tee, which is starting to hit Target stores. Also, thanks to Diz.Pops, we got some potential leaks for the Disney Treasures Vault Art Series figures which might have figures of Baloo, Jim and Dale, Cinco de Mayo Donald, Goofy, Mickey as a pilot, Mickey as a sorcerer, Pluto, Robin Hood, which is such an underrated movie, and Winnie the Pooh. And okay, I'm really excited for this bit of news actually. Fox Lunch is gonna have a new Avatar The Last Airbender figure releasing later this month, and it's gonna be glow in the dark, so I'm so excited for that. When I get more info about any of these figures, I'll let you guys know. This week we got a first look at Lucio Libre Loki. 
on the back of the box, you can actually see more figures from the line that are coming soon. Diamond Selena is hitting stores in California, so all my fellow Funko Pop hunters here in Cali can finally get her. And the WonderCon Laurie emails finally came out, even though they took all day to do so. If you haven't already, made sure to opt into the Laurie for WonderCon through the email. Look in all your spam and trash folders because you have to and make sure to get it done by April 15th because then Funko will be sending out the emails that will actually be saying if you're a lottery winner or not. So make sure to get that done. Child's Collectible Exclusive Paint is available from Chronos Toys now and I'll have him linked down below in the description. Mechagodzilla, not, not the glow, just the regular metallic Mechagodzilla is available on the Hot Topics website right now. And FYE, bye FYE, Stitch with Frog, which I love so much, has been restocked and is available right now. Also some pretty cool news, some really cool Wonder Woman figures came out this week. There's Black Lantern Wonder Woman and Red Superman Wonder Woman. And Amazon also has an exclusive glow version of Black Lantern Wonder Woman. So I'll have all these figures down below in the description. A jumbo sized pop of Skeletor that glows in the dark is available on GameStop's website with a rather large and hefty price tag of $40. Space Jam Pops are going to come out on April 25th. I know you guys just want the Lola Bunny figure, so if I get more info on Lola, I'll let you guys know. GameStop released a video showing off their new deluxe Boba Fett, which looks really awesome. So both Skeletor and Boba Fett will be linked down below. Almost there, almost there. Gotta record this fast for work. Okay. For some reason, Box Lunch has the ECC shared exclusive Spider-Man 2099 available both in stores and online now. And then flipping the page, Hot Topic exclusive Stitch and Jade, oh sorry, Stitch and Angel with Scrump is back up on Hot Topic's website. And I absolutely love this three pack. Lo Mitsuki, Mitsuki, Mitsuki from Naruto restocked as well. Sorry, I, I don't know if I said the name right. And Metallic 80th Anniversary Spider Man is also restocked on Hot Topic's website. And of course, Prison Mike is back up as well. And in our last bit of news, this dot pops got a sneak peek of what's going to be in the Year of the Shield box. Spoiler warning, it's going to be World War II, Ultimates, Captain America, and Nomad. So Spider-Man 2099 and the Hot Topic restocks will be linked in the description, as well as the Marvel Collector Corpse box, which will have the Captain America figures. Okay, that was a fast video. Um, I had to go to work pretty soon, and so I had to record that really fast. And I gotta still record the video reviewing Eduardo and the Glow in the Dark Mecha Godzilla, so it's a pretty busy day. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I almost forgot about the giveaway info. So, I made a video saying how not to do fungo pop hunts which I highly suggest you watch. And I may have gotten a uh, Six Star Collectibles mystery box, which is guaranteed to have either an exclusive, a chase, or a grail pop. And so no matter what I get, if it's worth $1,000, if it's worth $50, whatever it is, I'm going to give it to my subscribers. When I hit 100 subscribers, the one and the two big zeros, I'm going to be giving it away. Now, I just want real fans of the channel. I don't want bots or anything like that. You have to actually be subscribed and support the channel, you know, to, to make it fair and not, you know, sleazy. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Have a great day. And bye-bye now.